hello. We are going to do a bit of a how-to and tutorial type deal. And uh, so what we're going to show is just some things that uh, aren't as uh, descriptive or we felt might confuse some uh, new new gamers to uh, Wildmender. Especially if you skip the dialogues, then yeah. there's like no way to get them back, so... Yeah, so, uh, what were you wanting to show first? Uh, well, it didn't exactly tell you how to unlock the Sigil Stone, which is the first memory that you can unlock. Okay, so, oh. Okay. And that's actually how you teleport. So if you are on, uh, could you go through how to do that on PC? You just press M on PC and then it's the first memory in Arcane. So how to do that on the Xbox, uh, even though I am playing on PC, I usually use a Xbox controller. You hit the, uh, the back button and you use your right and left trigger to, uh, go through the, uh, the images on the side there. You go to the tree, and uh, the memory for Sigil Stone is the first one in the Arcane tab. And uh, to go into the Survival Spiritual Secret Guidance, you hit the right and the left on the uh, on the right joystick. That's how you find those. Then there's some useful information if you press J and go to journal. It can show you all of your seeds, equipment, resources, structures, all of the plants, and all of the allies and enemies information. Because some of the enemies don't really tell you what they do, and it's kind of hard to understand exactly. Yeah. Like, I, some of them pull water from you and your plants. Yeah. You don't really notice it going on in combat. Yep, that's true. Until you, you, you're dehydrated. And the ones in question are... are the, uh... this, uh... this wraith here, it will pull water from you. Um, and this one here, it will violently dehydrate you. Um, Standing in the time needle will also take away your food and water very quickly. Yes. Um, and uh, there is one that wields a time needle. And the one that wields a time needle can also uh, do do some uh, trickery by causing you to go all crazy and stuff. Um, you want to go over here to the oak tree and show them where the acorns are? Yeah, so me and Badger are in the late game of, of uh, Wildmender, so we can do things that you can't do in the beginning. But in order to um, this get is an oak tree, get acorns, uh, you usually find them at the base of of a uh, oak tree. That time it was just wood. We may not be able to actually find one, but they appear as items in the ground next to an oak tree, and they can drop like seeds. Like the dune grass seeds. Yeah, yeah. Can they can also drop uh, like different seeds, like dune grass seeds, um, wood. They can drop. Uh, oh, I don't remember. A bunch of. Right here, I found one. Various stuff. Which here's one. It's an ancient acorn from this uh, tree here. I don't remember reviving the spring. 
Um, this is one I revived a while back. Okay, and, uh, well. We'll pick up this acorn here. You can show how to do a little expansion. So this is kind of already downward. Oh, wrong tool. Would help if I got out my chisel. So, um, in order to... Uh, you can do this with a spade. I'm going to be using the chisel simply because it's quicker. But essentially you just want to dig a channel. And, and uh, make sure that it's deep enough that the water can flow into it. But do remember that if you are just starting, you will start with your spade. With a lot less water than this, yeah, and a spade. And a lot less water also, so um, be mindful of that. Yeah, you don't really need it super deep in the beginning. But it will eventually start flooding your stuff if you don't deepen it later. Yes. It's starting to expand. And it does take it a, a little bit to expand. Um, you can see, since, oh, no, he, that. since he did the channel over here, it was pulled over into this, uh, this little area that killed these uh, plants over here. So now... I mean, this water will stay, but now... And to turn more of this into dirt, it's going you to just want to put down some dune grass seed. Yeah, if you put down dune grass seed, it will uh, turn it also into a... Uh, it can turn it into a... Uh, It'll expand the soil. Yeah, it expands... So that you can plant more crops. Yeah. There it went. It expanded a little. Yeah, so there's that. And uh, Also, if you just build more plants on the edge of the soil, it'll continue expanding. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, so, there is something else. Um, to tell how your water situation, say if you're out of water and you're in a unfamiliar spot, we're gonna just go right over here, real quick. Yeah, you don't want to just drink anything. Cause, uh, yeah, if you drink something that is uh, poisonous, it does not. It's not a uh, like this. This spring right here. It's not actually a dirty spring the ground is just poisonous so what we're going to do is we're going to clear the I think I can well maybe can but uh, basically you take your uh, your bottle and down at the bottom it will tell you what kind of uh, what kind of drinking water that you have. Right now I have clean, but if you uh, fill up your bottle... Oh, it's it's corrupted water. I didn't even know that was a uh, style. Uh, mine just says dirty. So that heaven, he, that heaven blah, heavily poisoned me. Yeah, I'm heavily poisoned. That took well. about 25% of my remaining life, so if it's corrupt, you want to get rid of that corruption with some fire before you try and yes. drink from that. I'm going to pour all of this out also, now. Also, um, if you happen to pick up a luminous toxic, or tonic, I don't know why I said toxic, but uh, if you pick that up, uh, you can see it takes 30 of your poison or, cor or toxin uh, out of your character. It gives you 15 water and it gives you 80 of your life back. So we're gonna drink that. And uh, I was a little bit more, I had a little bit more toxin going on than 
I originally thought, but once that goes away, then, uh, but there's different, uh, water. The noxious water will also poison you while you're inside of it, but it's, it's not 25% of your HP, I think it's like 1%. I'm actually unsure of what the dirty water does. I've never drank it. Um, it, uh... I'm assuming it just doesn't quench your thirst as much. Um, it doesn't, and I think it does harm you a little bit, but not near as much as, uh, you know. The noxious, or if it was clean. anything else that you wanted to um there are also soil qualities for your plant oh, yes. like here we have a meadow so meadow plants will be thriving which is the best they can do yeah and from least to worst it goes sickly poor stable healthy and then thriving so uh, we're gonna walk a little bit the lower on that list you are the slower your plants are going to grow yeah, the higher, like, the uh, quicker they're going to grow. So, I didn't mean to take that. Like, uh, these are all thriving right now. Uh, but this one here, it says the soil quality is poor. Um, so there's different plants that have uh, different... I think uh, poor grows at 50%. But this could also change by the time yeah. you're watching this video. That's, that's also true, yeah, um, which, um, we would have done this with the New World, but we figured it would be best to show... It, it's a lot easier using the powers to get around and the teleports. Yeah, and... There's uh, also cross-seeding. There, there, there are multiple variants of, um... This is giant amaranth, and this is bountiful amaranth. And since these plants are near each other, this giant has a chance to drop a bountiful seed, and this bountiful has a chance to drop a giant seed. But, that isn't all for the cross seed. There is some ancient lily around here somewhere there's the white I think my red and the pink one actually got destroyed in a dust storm but if you had a white and a red lily next to each other it has the chance of dropping a, a pink red or a, a pink ancient lily So you can crossbreed some colors as well. But uh, also, something that I wanted to touch base on, uh, something that I did not know, is uh, so whenever it comes to your uh, your little uh, well stones that you get, or your uh, stones whenever you get them you can purify them um, and you can also change the water flows and stuff like that and stuff so that way it actually uh... yeah you can kind of customize it if you don't need if it's flooding or you're not getting enough water so, and also, in your main uh, part of your uh, your farm area and stuff like that, uh, your spring here, um, I, ours, you know, has been maxed out, but it'll say um, expand, expand, uh, what is it, expand well? Expand the well stone, I think. Yeah. And so that's how you get more water and stuff. 
um, but it's always good to try to, uh, once it's expanding and stuff, to be mindful because it will expand and it will cover and kill crops. So it's always good to be mindful of where your uh, water flow is going. Yeah, ours was originally actually where this amaranth is here. Yeah, it was way out here and we wound up actually losing uh, a fair bit, bit of stuff because we were uh, unaware that that was going to happen. Yeah, and that was before we had the chisel so we couldn't make a channel super quickly. Yeah. Plus, we realized after the plants were at like one HP, so yeah, not much we could do. Also, um, a little side note is uh, if you go to your workbench, you can actually um, use that to uh, craft things once you. Uh, Re, I, I'm going to say research them. Once you research them using your uh, using your memories, like uh, getting your uh, upgrading your bottle um, and stuff like that, and uh, and stuff, it always works out for the better. You can craft things. Uh, it's always good to um, have walls for whenever there's sandstorms, because uh, that is one thing that will uh, that will come and will uh, try to wipe out your crops and stuff. So it's always good to have those, which we never did finish our walls, but uh, you know. That's uh, nor here nor there. We finished the game before we needed to. That's true. Now we're just kind of. Now we can just. Doing our thing. And enjoy the scenery while doing that. Um, oh no, something ran into your wall up here and destroyed it. Yeah, that was the. Whenever we got attacked by the wraiths. I think that's about it though for the. I believe, I believe you are. I believe you are right. I think that's about uh, all we need to talk about. Um, but if there's anything else that you would like for us to touch up on, do let us know in the comments. Um, we do read them, and uh, we will uh, make a video if there's something that uh, you guys need touched. Uh, touched up on, um, whether it be um, uh, a certain quest or something, maybe we can help some help you guys uh, finish some of the quests and stuff like that. And uh, with that being said, if you did enjoy this and find it informational, uh, you know, subscribe for more.